Hope y'all like the new intro video. Uh, I've been working a little hard on that. Uh, so, lots been going on last these last couple of days. I uh, love my sweet tea. <laughs> uh, we had a gun show for uh, Saturday and Sunday. So I'd go down there and see what they had. Seemed like, you know, somebody didn't want me to go down there. I had a bullet on my car and... So, but me and some friends got together and went down there. Uh, this video is going to be kind of like an ammo haul slash, you know, me telling you about the gun shows down here with the whole crisis going on. Uh, so, after I, left the t after I left the tire store around like 11, I got there around like 12. Uh, it was me and some friends and my dad walked in, paid our mission fee, 10 bucks to get in. Uh, weapon surge can't conceal carry so I had to go take my my firearm I carry every day back in put it up but uh when I walked to the door they had a giveaway going on it was like a thousand rounds for you know sign up so I signed up didn't win that because they're supposed to call me Sunday if we won none of us there was like 10 in our group and I was one but while I was down there, uh, I noticed something. As soon as I walked in, they had these plastic baggies. You know, like you put sandwich bags in, like these plastic bags. And they had 9 millimeters, you know, 10 9 millimeters, non-hollow point FMJ, $35. And I'm like, 10 bullets for $35? Are you kidding me right now? So I knew I was in trouble when I pulled up because I didn't see nobody walking out with anything. Uh very select few was so you know I was like I'm gonna give it a shot so I went walking around uh, like my EDC my 365 XL I carry every day I seen it sitting there no price on it I asked the young gentleman it was there he said oh yes sir he said we got the cheapest you know right in here and I was like going over I was like yeah man you know it's a nice gun you know I just want to know what the price was on it this guy told me $975. When these guns sell for, you can find them on Academy between $450 and $550. Uh, I got the Night Sights online. Love it. Look into it. $365. I got the XL. They have just a regular, you know, $365. Uh, the XL holds a little more. Mine holds 13, one and a hammer. So I love it. But we're getting off sidetrack. They're right back on. So I went shopping around, uh, came to this one guy, had some ammo. He said he had three boxes of nine. He put them on top of each other, nine millimeter. You know. He said, I'm gonna make you the, it was like three o'clock, make you a deal of a lifetime. He says, I give you these three boxes for $115. And I'm like, holy moly. And they're only 20 round boxes, not even hollow points. So, Told him, you know, no thank you. He seemed like caught the attitude with me. You know, told me that people were just, you know, going around shopping and kind of window shoppers. And I, and I told him, I said, you know, it's crazy what y'all are asking. You know, you probably paid $9, $10 for them boxes and you had them sitting on your shelf and you're trying to, you know, make 10 times your money back. But, you know, I found a, a Taurus TX-22 I wanted. Uh... 16 round, you know, come two magazines. Guy was real nice. Uh, came down to it. He wanted me to do a 10 day wait because of where he was from. Uh, I have a concealed, so I didn't like that. So, I, you know, I left out of there. And then uh, me and some friends started going around to some shops. And I luckily went to Academy and I got a 308. Hunt season's coming, so I'll be using that that or my 300 blackout but i picked up this right here uh it's made in russia uh steel cased i got a bolt action gun so it's not like you know it's gonna jam up steel cased you know 308 got some kind of coating on it i think some kind of heat treating coating uh, believe it or not, they owe, they are hollow points. Believe it or not, that's crazy. But I picked these up. Uh, these are 27 
2,750 feet per second. Sorry about that. Steel case, 145 grand. Uh, I picked up two of those while I was there, me and some friends. Uh, they picked up two also. It's also kind of lacquer coating. That's the name of it now. Yeah, lacquer coating. Uh, I guess they don't want it to rust or anything like that. So that was a good score. I got some of those. Those at least get me through hunting season. Uh, I have some, but I don't want to use the good stuff. I just want to try to get some of this cheap stuff I can use. I don't want just in case, you know. We don't know what November is going to bring us, so we'll see. While I was also out and about, I come across a pawn shop, uh, 380, 50 rounds. Uh, I've got a couple 380s too. I love them. Uh, my wife carries one. So I picked up a box of those. It's all they had was a box. Uh, hollow point, you know, regular hollow point. So, and those, I got those for $25. So, I mean, that's not bad. That wasn't, that's pretty reasonable. That was about 50 cent around for the 380s, which ain't bad. Uh, I don't know why it says FMJ bullet on it. It's actually a hollow point, so I, I don't know why that's like that. Uh, well, while I was online shopping, uh, I come across, you know, I got a 6.5 grand, as you can tell on the back screen of my YouTube channel. Uh, I come across this Wolf Military Classic. So they had these on sale for, I think there were like $6 a box. And they had a, you had they no more than 10 boxes. So what I did was is I had my wife buy some and I bought some. Just because the six five grindles are hard to come by right now. They're very hard to come by. This is a lacquer bullet too. Uh, you know. I love, you know, I really haven't shot 6.5 Grindle out hunting with it. Uh, try to see, maybe I can try to get it this year, depending. We'll see what happens. Got to put food on the table. Well, on another note, guys, when you talk about stocking up on magazines, guys, if you haven't did it yet, stock up on them. When you hear it on the news, it's too late. I'm here to tell you. Uh, don't be like five, six years ago when they had the, you know, magazine ban and ammo ban. We're already seeing the ammo ban already. The ammo, you know, where I call it a ban because it's hard to find. You can't find it. If you find it, people want a hundred dollars pack for them. Crazy. So you'll need to get out there. You'll need to find the high capacity magazines. Uh, you know, if you got a friend of yours that can't get out, he's working and he said, Hey man, I need some, you know, it's a two-way community. Let's let's all get together and let's help everybody. You know, it's like I went to Academy over the weekend, uh, stopped in there, and I bought some. Luckily, they had some uh, primers here and small rifle primers. There's red, but small rifle primers. So I bought them. Uh, there were about ten to twenty of them there. But I did buy one, two, three, four, five, six of them and left the others. You know, I left the others because, you know, you don't know if a guy behind you, you know, has got a competition coming up. You know, if you got friends out there, guys, you know, if he's got a competition coming up and he's trying to find this stuff, you know, if he needs it, let him, let him use it. Let him borrow it. You know, I'm not like that. You know, if somebody needs it I let them borrow it uh, especially you know they got a competition coming up it's hard really hard to come by ammo primers reloading uh, rumors got it that all the manufacturers is the ones getting the primers and, and powder so we're gonna see they say there's a four to five to six month you know turnaround it's a long time guys but we got to hold in there man you know, go do your vote, Second Amendment. Let's go for it. Uh, another thing I've been seeing too, it's been going crazy off the shelves and very expensive. You already know where I'm gonna go with this. Lowers. 
AR-15 lowers. This is just a regular Anderson manufacturer lower. You know, I bought this from a local gun shop for back. I got a couple of these. I think it was, matter of fact, there's a price, $37.99. So, you know, these Anderson lowers, gun broker, $115. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, people are taking advantage. And, you know, it's going to come back on them, guys. You know, don't feed into that stuff. You know, don't, don't do it. It comes back around and gets you. But, like I said, get you one of these, guys. Buy these up. You can't have one until you have one of these. You know, parts. You know, I'll see in regular, at that gun show, I'll see in regular bolt carrier group, bolt carriers. I mean, just regular MPTs or MPIs, you know, $100. I'm like, holy cow. I got like five of them at the house. Like, are you are you kidding me? And people are buying these. Like, fast, you know, the guy's putting them out. Uh, P mags, 30 round P mags, $52. I was like, are you kidding? Like, I keep saying, are you kidding me? But I was like, that is crazy. But, uh, Another thing too, guys, uh, NC Star. Like I got to you, I sent my scope back out. I got it back, guys. Uh, they did a tremendous job on it. Uh, you know, they repowdered it, and it looks like a brand new scope. But they said they re they refurbished it. They said you know it was definitely the plane inside of it was rock loose. Uh, you can tell now because it had stopped. You know, so I'm gonna put this one back on my. Uh, one of my other 223s and see what happens. I do have a review on that red dot that CV Life sent me and the bipod. I got it coming. I got a new camera. Y'all bear with me. I'm trying to find how to do all this video editing stuff. I'm trying to get most videos that I can out to y'all about all this. Uh, what else can I go over with y'all? Uh, everybody, you know, a lot of people ask me, you know, Drew, what do you, you know, what you know what's your EDC what what do you carry you know I tell them you know what I carry you know SIG 365 XL I was a Glock 19 you know Gen 5 I carried it for a long time loved it you know I downgraded to a 6 sorry I won't say downgraded but lower ammunition count a little bit to get a more facility but my holster is I always run sticky holsters uh you know my other one I forget, I think it's like American Tactical holster. This is pretty good. Uh, you know, locks as I come loose. I like this. You put it inside your waistband. Came with the gun when I got it, like free gift. But I always run a sticky holster. So is my wife. So is my parents. You know, everyone I know. Uh, you know, everyone's like, oh man, you know, never had no luck with them. They wear out. Well, if they start wearing out, take Dawn dish detergent, hot water, and wash it. Hand wash it. It's gonna come back sticky, I'm telling you. These holsters are nice. I like these. But the only thing I like about them is if you decide to put an O light on your you know pistol or something like that, or you have some high rise sights, they like to get caught up. Only bad thing about it right here, right there to get caught up. You know, if you get caught up when you need it, it'll be your life. Uh what else did I pick up? Like I said, this is my Dillon 550 Reloader. Uh, I'll be shooting some videos on it soon on more, you know, reloading. But, uh, y'all guys, hit the like, share, and subscribe button uh, if you haven't already. And uh, put some comments in the comment section if y'all want to see. Y'all want to see, you know, a gun review or, you know, an EDC more gun review, how I clean my guns. How often I clean them? I'll just let me know in the comments, guys. Y'all be safe out there, and I'll see you on the next one.